I'm going to show you how you can change the permissions on security groups so that specific users or groups are unable to modify their membership. So if we come over to Active Directory Users and Computers, I've got two security groups. I've got a security group for help desk users, and I've got a security group for system administrators. What I want to do is modify the permissions on the system administrator's security group so that if people are a member of the help desk, they can't give themselves permissions over the system administrator's group, which has higher permissions across the network. So to do this, if we open up the system administrator's group and then come over to security, we can add a new security object. And then in here, we can either name specific individuals or we can add a security group. So in this example, I will add the help desk security group. And then what I want to do is I want to deny them full control over the system administrator security group and then just give them read access to it so they can obviously see information about the security group as well as who is a member, but they are unable to make any changes and give themselves permission to the security group. So if I apply these changes, it will give me a warning to say that the deny entries take precedence. So if someone is given access to modify the security group as well as denied access to modify it, the deny will be enforced and they won't be able to modify the permissions. So if we press yes to continue, we can now see that the help desk is listed under the security with deny permissions. So what this has done is any members of this help desk security group won't be able to make any changes to this system administrator security group. So if I log off and then log in with a member of the help desk security group. So if I log in now with a user that is within that help desk security group, and then once I'm logged in, if I come over to Active Directory again, if I then come to the system administrators group, I can't make any changes to the notes or the description, and I can't add or remove any members of the security group because the user account that I'm logged into is a member of the help desk. So I've been locked down from making any modifications to the security group. So that's how you can lock down security groups to stop people giving themselves access to resources they potentially shouldn't have access to.